Uh, today we got, uh, you know, just us foul Cimarone, uh, his good brother. I've been talking to him, I think more than a year now. Uh, he's got a lot of interesting uh, information and knowledge uh, in his travels and life and experience and his investigation, a whole different perspective, uh, which correlates a lot of it with the investigation and with the research we've been doing, you know, so, um, you know, I guess he want, you know, I asked him, you want to be uh, first one? You know, he said, yeah, of course, right away. So I was like, okay, let's do it. And uh, again, you know, we're just going to build. If you have any questions or anything, you know, just let us know. Uh, Jizza, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, brother. Yes, I. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> no problem. So, yes, I'm from French Caribbean. You know, Martinique, Guadeloupe, all those the little islands below okay. Puerto Rico, Jamaica, and all stuff like that. My father is French. I spent uh, more than 20 years in France, especially in the south and west. And I spent 10 years of my life in West Africa, in Senegambia. I studied at university, I have an uh, English degree in Arabic. So I study Arabic sources in history too. And I spent many, many years in the Caribbean. So I have 40 and uh, I'm about to have 41 in a few weeks. <laughs> okay, okay. So and, you've, been, uh, yes, you've been around. Um, What did you say? So yeah, it sounds like you've been around. So uh, yes, I turned all over <laughs> the the three continent Europe, Africa and the Americas. I went to Boston, Miami. I went on Miami Circle, Miami Circle in the in town. And I invite you to go there and uh, to ask for one or two hours in a, a Miami-Dade County uh, archives because you have to um, uh, call and do a, re a reservation for one, two or three hour maximum. And it's not all the time that you can go in into that archives. Well, so Miami-Dade County is a huge place to do research and I went there and I... Okay. Yes, I, I went to the Everglades and Seminole Re <clears throat> Reservation and uh, I I went throughout the Bowl and the, and the Cayor in Senegal and and uh, the Sin Salum and all those ancient uh, kingdoms that are not so ancient <laughs> because when you look uh, before or um, the 15th, 14th century, there's no uh, uh, kingdoms in those places. You can heard about ancient Ghana that are that was located in actual Mauritania and not the Ghana that you know today. You have to know that it is okay. um, Nkrumah. Okay. Nkrumah the father of independence who renamed Ghana, the actual Ghana, the current Ghana, uh -huh. um, in uh, homage, how uh, you say, greetings to the ancient empire of Ghana that we say Gnawa. In Morocco and Algeria, you have some descent of that ancient um, uh, kingdom and uh, some Lebu chief in Senegal heard for them that their people were from uh, India and uh -huh. they traveled one in in Africa 1000 years ago and I have a video of I and we maybe uh, while you will uh, uh, okay, have so a locution to the audience I will okay. spend some minutes to to find the link no problem so uh, just to recap um, just yes, to recap uh, what you just said so everybody can understand. So 
you were talking about the West West Africa, and you're saying there's really uh, no history of a real ancient kingdom in that part of the world, um, you know. And um, you also said that the uh, uh, there was an ancient Ghana, but it was in Mauritania. It wasn't where it, it's located today. Um, is that correct? Absolutely. Okay. Ghana was not in the place where it is located now today and you just do a simple google research it is not hiding it is not hidden you can find it easily okay that it's the father of independence in kuruma who renamed that place ghana in an homage it's it's an homage yeah it's greetings to ancient uh, kingdom uh, which was located in Mauritania and the ancient capital of that kingdom was named Kumbi Saleh and this is the only kingdom that you can say that it's ancient because when that kingdom split you find a lot of little kings and kingdoms in Senegambia and and in, in Nigeria and all that stuff. But when you look at the pyramids, the two pyramids that they found in um, <clears throat> uh, in Zinder, uh, West Africa, and they uh-huh. said that they, they are built as um, like Aztecs pyramid. And uh, the type of pyramid is um, like um, a Where stairs. Where are those like uh, like Aztecs, Zinder. I will show you all the sources, and the only conference that you can find is a French African who speak a very bad English in United States, and <laughs> I will send the, the two links that, man. But it's it's you can understand you can uh, understand what he says, but <clears throat> Zinder. It's a a, a place. Uh, in in Niger, not Nigeria. You know there mm-hmm. is two places. Yeah. Nigeria, it's an English speaking country, and Niger, Niger, is a French speaking country. But they are, they 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 share a limit. Okay, is this what you're border. talking about? But but yes, but Niger, yes, Zinder. Uh, no, I don't know if it is what. No, no. Zinder. The Zinder is very unknown. Found in Zinder. Z i z i n d e r in Niger, and it's Hausa people who find it, and they said that um, there are inscriptions and all, all, all but it, okay, the scholars won't talk about it. Because okay. they are on Gizeh plateau and all stuff like that. But yes, mm-hmm. this is Zinder. Below. Below, this is Zinder. And there is two pyramids. But okay. when you so, look closer, so you this find looks, yeah, traces. This does look like an Aztec pyramid. But, so, yes, know. yes. But they said that it's um, much more older than the Gizeh plateau. Like okay. much more older. Okay that we know that the Gizeh plateau it's a reconstruction yeah of ruins yes. made yes. in the 50s and yeah shout out to uh, the, UB, it, there UB is news. footage of it yep shout out to UB, <laughs> UB yes. news for exposing that and can and can show you the same thing with stonehenge in england yes. I have a footage a full footage of of the construction in the 15 of that so-called archaeological site <clears throat> but um you can find some stones uh placed yeah uh, this is uh, a circle this is, this is when they uh, uh, in, because, this yeah. is when they built stonehenge 60 years ago yes i have a footage if you if you want i i show i i share it i think we have a footage it. of it Fair use, you see. Okay, yeah. So see, this is but, before they started building, and there was nothing there. 
You see, where's the stones? All right. And if you do just do a simple research, you look at all all the kingdoms in West Africa before colonization, uh-huh. you won't find a lot. And you won't find ancient or <clears throat> antiquity or things like that. Yeah. So so but um there is some but it's the Songhai in Mali and uh the um, the rival Niger with um Sonia Liber and um but it's not huge and it's not ancient because yeah. those people they came from other places like in Congo you have a big debate and many tribes of Congo said that they are not from Africa the 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 Don mm-hmm. a tribe called the Don D I D A N in Côte d'Ivoire Ivory Coast they claim to be Jew and they um, had contact with Israel and they sent a rabbi and the rabbi certified that they were Jew original Jew even their language is Jew I can show you the link all the, the so when you say are, when you, when you say I'm Jew now I have all the sources so when you Jew, say Jew, Jew um yeah like, like Hebraic from... Hebrew Hebrew okay um so Hebrew. from, yeah, from... I can show you many where did they originate uh, they said that um, they are from the uh, tribe of Dane, and uh, after okay. the um, invasion of Babylon, they they flee, and they they arrived in Ethiopia, and in Ethiopia, when they arrived in Ethiopia, they cross the continent until they reach the Sudan, and um, a place called the Mali. And from the Mali, they reached after the Mali Empire split. They founded other villages and other little kingdoms in West Africa. But West Africa, the first people inhabitant of that land was the Pygmy, the Khoisan. And even the Africa know that the Bantu people came in Central Africa and conquer that place and they are not from that place every bantu know that even their traditions so uh, where, say so that, that where do you, th- where do you think they are... and eradicate the pygmy people yeah yeah that's what um and um also um didn't they um with the Khoisan didn't they uh, the Khoisan were already there and that they have stories similar that the bantu came Yes, the question were or, or already there, like okay. the pygmy. And uh, where do you think they originated, the Bantu? The pygmy? No, the, the Bantu. Bantu? Yeah. I think the Bantu. I think, and uh, you will say that I'm a, I am a crazy guy. I think T- they me. are from Caucasian mountain. Oh, oh, I am. That's that's where my research. Me, they oh, are listen, from... that's my my research is leading to the same, and I got future videos on that. And I've been trying to tell people, you know, you know, because when you see your Aboriginal or Indigenous Russian people from the Caucasus mountain, you know, that's who they were really depicting when they were wearing the those hats. The uh, I don't know if you've heard of the Abs- Absakians, I believe Abscassian. Mm-hmm. But these are from the Caucasus mountain. These people right here, and they call them Afro Absakian. Abkhazian, but they're not Afro anything. There's no genealogy or proof to say that there's a migration from Africa over there, and that's why they're colored. Now, if you see um, a lot of the times, if you if you if you you know, even in the more science, uh, they'll tell you black Asiatics, right? And um, on some original anthropological books, they're listing the uh, Caucasian, you know, as a so-called Negro person. You know, we know that the Slavs, the Slavs, uh, there was two types of Slavs, the dark-skinned Slavs and the light-skinned Slavs, not just, uh, they were from Moravia. And, and also for the Vikings, 
Yes, the Danes. Yeah, we know that like Viking Danes. is a yeah. name given for uh, by the historian, but the yeah. Viking were not. They 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 did not call themselves Vikings. You know, in Spanish, there's a word uh, uh, who, who is very uh, close to the French word, vermejo. Okay, red. Do you do? You, Yes, red. Okay, uh -huh. you said yeah. it. Because yeah. in French, it's the same. When you say vermeil, in French, we say vermeil. And when you say vermeil, it's a, like a brown, reddish... Uh, yes, it's like mahogany, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like mahogany. Okay, I got a, an Absakian right here. You see him? It's from yes. the Cauc Caucasus region. So you see those hats that uh, Russian soldiers wear? They were really mimicking the Afro. Now, and you you think know think think about, about this. Think think about, about this. Uh, if if yes. if okay. Now, what would be warmer? Um, you know, straight, fine hair, soft, or something like this, in, in for a place like that in, in the Caucasus region or Russia or something like that. What what do you think would be warmer? You know, in Russia, there is desert. There is hot, hot desert. Russia is, is uh, different climate. But mm -hmm. when you see Eskimos or uh, Inuit people, they are brown skin of a copper, copper color skin and they live up north. And when you go to Scandinavia, you see the people are blonde, blue eyes and very very light uh, complexion of skin so the climate does not um, really influence the yeah no it's not the climate color of the no, skin. definitely not it's not the climate this does definitely not definitely not that was just something like saying out of africa everything out of africa so it's not i don't think we uh, nations are you know crayon colors so people are crayon colors But you see um, something they're wearing wool in their head to keep warm. That's what I'm trying to show you. You see, but he, you know, he could just use his hair. And it looks like they might have even had wigs on these people. All right. So, you know, what else would you like? You know, a poet. From Russia, a, a poet, a poet from Russia called uh, uh, Polsky. Uh, I just forgot his name. It's, uh, Tolsky. No, no. I just forgot his name. The great poet in Russia. His grandfather is a, a black man, and they invented a story of a, of a slave. Uh, from uh, from Cameroon, uh, shipped to um, Europe and uh, sold to uh, Ottoman uh, Sultan. And from there, uh, he was offered to the Tsar of Russia and uh, raised uh, uh, as a son of the Emperor of Russia and sent to Paris to learn uh, uh, military stuff uh, um, and uh, got back to Russia and organized all the mit military system of Russia. It's, it, he, 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 he is called uh, Abraham, Abraham Petrovich. But I, uh, I think that the story of the enslavement from Cameroon and throughout Europe and Turkey, Ottoman, uh, you know, Istanbul. And I think it's not, uh, it's too much for me. I think they were actually Russians. And why so much privilege give to, gave, given to uh, 
to uh, uh, to Abraham Petrovich if he's not uh, the emperor's son or nephew or what else. Yeah. There's a so-called slave, and you gave him all so so much privilege and a so high position in <laughs> in Russia. Yeah, so it's, we know it's there's similar. a lot of right now. I'm, I'm going through the website, uh, Real History, uh, very good website. You know, they always got some good information showing us the Black Russian uh, and Balkan. Uh, it says the original Alexander Russians Pushkin. Here. Yes, I yeah. injured in the chat. They they find the name. It's yep. Yaga Yagastek. Say Alexander Pushkin. When you found that the grandfather of Pushkin is totally black. <laughs> totally black not like uh so they made up so you're saying they made up the cameroon story right yes i they made up what do you cameroon story. what do you For think me, his uh up. what do you think his uh genealogy really is his his uh, ancestry or his bloodline is is the Songhe man he's a Songhe tribe man for me that's just, just uh, yeah. shown uh, he's image. one of these black. He's one of these so-called uh, black uh, Russians. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's deep. So, you know, this is a whole history. Like we're about to get into. You know, plan to get on. Uh, uh, so I, I, that's why I wanted to get the, this brother in here, so he can, uh, you know, based on his research, what he's seeing. Even over there, he's gone to libraries over there. He goes all over the world. Uh, he travels and he's learning. And he's studying all these things, and uh, this is not this is not um, made up stuff. This is actually images from Russia. The iconic uh, iconography over there, the Christian one, especially. You know, it just shows. You a can lot check of... the the scriptures. Yep. You can check check the scriptures, the um, the writings on it, and you can see it's, it's Cyrillic writings. It it is mm -hmm. Russian scriptures. Yeah. It's Russian white writings on it, and um, on my Pinterest, I have like um, three uh, thousand image of black people in the medieval uh, European um, continent. Okay. So uh, it's a lot. And it, I know it's not all of it. Well, we appreciate, you know, the knowledge. Yeah, it's a lot of history being left out that, you know, they don't tell us. Uh, they just wanted us to picture all of Europe as white, you know. And, you know, they started whitewashing everything. <laughs> Europe was not this um this is a cathedral uh, a white Russia. continent no nope. you know the the the, the shade of men you 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 already saw the show the um shade of, um, hey, j hey just just they're, they're asking for the for the link to your pinterest do you have it you can put it on the chat oh yes okay yes yes hey, i put it on the chat no problem. Uh, much love and respect to uh, Vaso Breeze, Breeze 3000, you know, with the soundtrack once again. Yeah, much love and respect to everybody tuned in. We're just, you know, vibing. We're just building with the brother Jissa, Fowl Marone, episode one, Kuri Mail Meditations. Plan to do this every Friday. All right, special guests every Friday. So if you go in the chat, you can, um, you know, um, um, put my, my my link, okay. my Pinterest link up, yep, up the I chat, you know, just, yeah. Okay, let's see it. There we go. So just uh, see Maroon, this is his. So where do I go? Illustration, no air? No, no air. Uh, you, um, no, if, 
if you go on my um, my comment in the chat yeah i put on, I the, on, on the right you you yes you can select it and put it up the chat yeah like a banner okay oh like a banner okay i see Are uh, this well well so you you'll find uh, american uh, american indigen it's in french but <laughs> it's not videos it's only pictures so you don't need yeah. to yeah oh no, this is pretty this french. is great <laughs> no worries this is great images right here great images right here and, and you can go down there eh? you will find a lot of it <laughs> yes that you never so, saw all right so we're supposed to imagine that all these people ended up in uh, africa and you know so what do you think we'll, we'll... now you're saying a lot of the african elders right you to told us earlier they told us that they originate from somewhere else not not from africa right yes in fact if you leave Listen to all oral tradition of all the tribes and all the people and the nations in Africa. They would say that the place they are living in the current days are not the place where their ancestors were living. That means that they came from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And when you study all the oral traditions they find they tell you they all come from the great water over the, uh, uh, beyond the great water so what is that great water yeah so we know that um in my corn videos we know that the uh monday uh speaking people they were um bringing it uh they had their stories of corn bringing their corn with them from from that side of the world from coming from america and you know where else would they get corn from you know what do you think about the corn thing you know all these ancient people had corn right in west africa before columbus and you can add to that that the first portuguese when they came first came on west coast of africa they saw women's with pipes smoking tobacco and that plant is originally from the americas not yep. from africa okay and it was before colonization before shipping a slave from africa or what uh -huh. it's, it's it was at the time that the first portuguese um they they call them portuguese uh, but you every one know that they were maranos from portugal because the inquisition of catholic church they were purchased uh, they, they were uh, hunting jew and muslim at that time and they become crypto jew crypto muslim yeah. and even in france there were uh, a, a law proclaimed by the king called lady de nantes Mm -hmm. and this is a, a proclamation of the king lady lady the not it's mean it, it was to ban all jew and and protestant from france just kick them out from france and so they yeah. had to go somewhere else and they a lot of went to the americas to practice their religion freely yes so we've been uh doing the research with that we've been doing a lot of people's genealogy it is matching up um so you know um it is real real history as you're saying um these these people were being uh persecuted all through europe by the catholic empire or other powers and uh you know they would have to be moving around like you said for them going to america was like it was like a promised land where they can practice their religious freedom freedom of religion right as you know all that's part of the constitution so, of america and all that and it, it has an origin so that we can deduce that like the inquisition the catholic inquisition 
of the mm-hmm. Catholic Church when they hunted Jew and and uh, and Muslim. Um, most of them were black complexion. You have to know that, and um, they were not all from Africa. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to know that too, yep, because definitely. the king, the king of Spain, was black. Yep, Carlos Quintos, and there is two. Um, How's the fifth, right? Um, in the fifth, Carlos Quintos. A, and um, he had when you look his genealogy you see that he was re- related to german ro- ro- royal uh, family french royal family or uh, austria and uh, um and uh, holland and uh, also uh, um uh, england and italy and, and the, uh, those all those family they were uh perpetuating uh, uh weddings uh, marriage among the royal f- family of europe so that's why you can find all the black so-called black nobility in europe and the ma- majority of of the people became white because there were a lot of invade inv- invasions like the visigoth mm-hmm. Like uh-huh. the the uh, les uh, the I, I I I don't know how to say it in English, but you spell it H U N. How do you say that? They were from uh, uh, Mongolian Hun. steppes. Yeah, the Hun. Yes, the Hun, and they they conquered Frank Frank Reich. They conquered the German, and they arrived in France. And when I was a little boy in in France, I studied this that Attila and the Huns came to France and they 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 crushed yeah. the Germans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh, I learned that. I, when I, I was believe a, a I kid, believe these. And everyone uh, cause, know that. See, I believe because uh, based on my research, well, think, all those they, priests what, are black. Huh? You, well, you, you saw I, that what, uh, it, ba- it's in Paris. Yeah. L- go up, go up, go up, go up. Which one? Okay. All those priests done yeah. on knees, and it's a very famous place in Paris. It's Notre Dame of mm-hmm. Paris, and you saw all, all you s- go up. It's a very interesting. Now uh, you are going down. Okay, go up. Right. No, it's it's uh it's up the the page. You just passed on, but this is a huge canva that you can analyze, and you saw that all the priests in Paris and the noble uh, family are, are are black, and it's a very famous place. But because that church just burned when I was in Miami in 2019 the church big church notre dame just get burned in yeah. paris and you can yeah. saw uh yes just go up oh you were next you go up you you well uh, no this is a scan this is a scan of the canvas to show how they white whitewashed the 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 canvas because the scan that you saw mm-hmm. just up there is a proof that it was a dark uh, compassion people and they whitewashed it so that's why yeah. they scan it to, to yeah i think that um the, your video is a little delayed uh try refreshing the page but uh, yeah i think i know what you're talking about yeah i saw the scan okay so they scanned it and it okay. looked like yeah like it was a different person after it got scanned okay so this is uh this is what's found in the uh larco museum in lima peru that's what i show people a lot and uh yeah, this is where it shows uh Charles V as a so-called black man right here. This is Carlos Quinto, as you're saying, Carlos Quinto. And these are the Incas before him. And they're almost the same complexion, you see. Um, so yeah, you even got Mango, Mango Capac, who's supposed to be the originator. All right. 
It's a little close up right here. It's Charles V. So I'm not sure, you know, we can't go backwards, you know. So every time, you know, we got to stop thinking every time we, we're talking about like a Spaniard or English or Portuguese. We're not, you know, you got to stop, you know, gotta I have stop a, other, picturing a... What this you, this, this uh, picture is not uh -huh. the only one of uh, Carlos Quintos. You, yeah. you just uh, shown uh, the one who, uh, which is in Peru. Mm-hmm. In a, in a church in Peru, but this one is in Europe, and there is mm -hmm. three other ones that you can clearly yeah. recognize his face and his... Um, um, how do you see the, the mountain? Oh. You can recognize his face uh, without... Oh, yes, this one. But when you uh, uh, read the comment below, they say that it's another person, but you can't recognize it is the same. Yeah, so it says uh, this painting is falsely called the Balthazar, the Moorish King. Yeah, so they try to always like make no, these no, people. Bal no fucking they, Balthazar, they, excuse they, me. <laughs> don't worry. They try to make these uh, people basically the uh, one of the three wise men all the time, uh, like mythical, like it's just a, uh, an a allegorical painting, but it's that's that's their excuse. We know, we know. You know, we know we know that painting the Larco Museum. That's not uh, allegorical. Um, so yeah, he, he, this person's dressed just like an emperor of the Holy Roman Emperor would dress. The clothing, if you understood everything, the sefer that he's holding, you would know who this person is. So, and it's not no uh, Balthasar or Moorish King. It's uh, Ch Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor. You know, so it's a Catholic. You know, uh, so. Imperial crown of Austria, yeah. That's what he's holding right there. 